so for obviously for the inside we'll select the circle tool however um, you don't want anything within the circle so leave this as red but for the inside click on this thing which won't apply any color always hold shift to keep your circle proportional and don't draw it here because you'd actually be losing control of the lines because it will actually interfere with the others so best to do it on somewhere outside where there's no other lines um, we'll make a typical eye so if you paste it in place it would actually instead of pasting it on the outside it will paste it exactly where the other one was so again hold Q or this transform tool hold shift make it smaller a bit there's the outside part of the eye and then we just need one more circle in the middle so take this one control C paste in place Q shift Yeah, something like this would work. Finally, we could select the whole thing. Controls. Actually, we won't need to copy it, so we'll just simply go ahead and drag this. We might need to make this a bit bigger, so... And yeah, done. Now... As you can see, there are a couple of lines that stands out here, so we could go ahead and actually just select them and delete them. Okay, done. Of course, always save your project. So now that the eyes is done now, let's go ahead and tackle the nose. We'll change back the thickness, 2.5. Nose is fairly simple, so you know what? Maybe this again is a bit too thick, so let's actually do it to 0 0.025. Yeah, much better here. Okay. Always zoom in when you need to. Alright, so the nose is done. Let's do the mount. And now let's tackle the ear. So I'm just trying to give this one as much definition as I can. Okay, there we go.
And yeah, as you can see, we pretty much have the face done. Just to give you a little idea of the progress, if we hide the uh, the reference layer, we have something like this. Eventually, we'll be turning this to black, and it's going to look much more neater and, and nicer. And um, for now, we'll continue and we'll save that part for the last.